Hey guys, how are you going? In this video I'll be showing you how to use the array.from function in JavaScript. Um, so essentially it's a really simple function and it allows you to create um, an array from an iterable or an array like object. So it's really useful um, and even provides a map function for convenience if you wanted to manipulate um, or change the data in which you are creating the array from. So I'm going to be showing you how it works with a few examples. So let's go inside the text editor right here and scroll down to the JavaScript section. Uh, so firstly, I want to demonstrate how you can use it on an array like object. So for example, um, an array like object would be the argument object that uh, that you get inside a function. So for example, I'll make a function right here called uh, my func and inside here I'm going to simply say console.log arguments and then I'm just going to go down here and call that function and pass in a few values such as one, uh, dom and something like let's just say uh, an object and we can just say name and then dom once again. Okay, so um, uh, three arguments into this function and I'm going to save this and refresh the browser. As we can see here, we get the arguments object logged out to the console um, and the arguments object is basically just uh, an array like object containing all of the arguments in which I passed through. As you can see here, it's got indexes, so 0, 1 and 2 and it's also got a length property. So essentially an array like object in JavaScript contains indexes and also the length property which means uh, this function is going to be supported with the array.from function. Okay, so with that being said, let's go back inside here and let's create an array using the array.from function. So let's get rid of this and say const, uh, let's just call this one args array is equal to array.from and then pass in here arguments. As I said, since arguments is an array like object, it's going to work perfectly fine because the array.from function has access to the indexes and also the length property. So now I'm going to console.log args array just like this, okay? And I'm going to now save this and then refresh once again. And we can see in the console we get here an actual array this time around uh, containing all of the arguments. So in this case, maybe um, the argument uh, object is perfectly fine the way it is, but it's just an example. Um, so now I want to show you how it works with an iterable object. So, for example, uh, one of the most common iterables in JavaScript um, is going to be a node list. And typically you get a node list from calling the query selector all function. So, let's go back inside here and get rid of all of this stuff and make a new constant called elements equal to document.querySelectorAll. We're going to be selecting every element on the page. So we can pass in here an asterisk um, as my query selector or my CSS selector. Okay. And now I'm going to just simply uh, go down here and make a new constant called L array. So element array equal to array dot from and pass in here elements. Okay. So uh, once again, Essentially, um, your elements here is a node list and a node list is an iterable object because it provides an iterator uh, when you call the symbol.iterator property on the node list. Okay, so I'm now going to console.log L array just like this. I'm going to save this and then refresh this and we can see right here we get an array of all the elements. If you want to know whether or not an, uh, an object is iterable, it's really straightforward. Uh, just go back inside here and I'm just going to console.log um, the actual elements object itself. Okay, so a node list. I'm going to save this here and refresh once again and in the console, I'm just going to expand the node list object right here. And uh, we can see on the bottom here, inside the prototype, we have here um, a symbol.iterator property uh, containing a function. And basically, uh, this right here denotes that this, uh, this object is iterable. Okay, so uh, many objects in JavaScript are obviously iterable. Things like string, node list, uh, map, set, arrays, etc. So all of those types are going to be supported with the array.from function. 
Uh, just for good measure, I'll be showing a second example here of an iterable object, this time a string. So back inside here, let's get rid of all this stuff, make a new constant called name equal to Dominic, just like this. I'm now going to say str array once again in a very similar fashion, array dot from and pass in here name. Then of course console.log string array. And we should see now D O M E N I C as separate elements inside the array. I'm going to save this here and refresh, and we can see right here we get an array of all of the characters um, in that string. Okay, so once again it works because strings are iterable. Okay, um, so the last thing I want to demonstrate is going to be uh, the map function. However, I might just mention before that. If you're not too sure what iterables are or how they work, um, definitely check out my video on iterables. I'll leave a link to it in the comments below. But anyway, let's take a look at this map function right here and what it can be used for for the array.from function. So let's go back inside here. We're going to be using uh, the same string right up here, okay? And we can just change this um, to instead uh, take a second argument in the array.from, and this one is going to be the map function. So essentially, uh, the map function works in a very similar way, if not the same way, as a typical array map function, and that one right there allows you to manipulate each element inside the array. So we can put in here, for example, a function which accepts a character just like this because obviously um, the iterator for the, um, for the string is going to provide individual characters which means essentially this function right here is going to run for every single character inside my name right here. Okay, uh, which means if we return car dot uh, to uppercase, just like this, essentially it's going to grab this value and put it in the place of what it should be. So essentially, we're going to get uh, once again my name, individual characters. However, they're going to be uppercased instead. So I'm going to save this here and refresh uh, uh, one uh, one more time. We can see here we get uppercase for all of my characters, okay? Um, and one last thing to mention about the array.from function is that um, it performs a shallow copy, okay? So uh, this essentially means that if you were to uh, provide uh, uh, an actual uh, object or array as one of your elements inside your iterable, then of course, if you change that object outside of uh, the array you create, that change will be uh, carried across. So I might just demonstrate this real quickly here uh, by creating um, an array from a set. Okay, so I'm going to go right here and make a new constant, call this one my set equal to a new set. Obviously, sets are iterable, so it's going to work fine with the array.from. So I'm now going to say my set.add. I'm going to add an object to my set. So I'm going to say right here, uh, let's just say name and make this DOM once again. Now I'm going to say essentially for const value um, of my set dot values just like this. Okay, so essentially I'm just getting each one of the values from the set. I'm going to say console.log value. Okay, I'm going to save this here and refresh and we can see right here we get name is equal to DOM of course, we get the actual object right there. So now I'm going to create an array from this set. So I can say const uh, set array is equal to uh, array.from and pass in here of course the set just like this. And then once I've got this set array, at index zero, it's going to be this object. So I'm going to say set array at index zero, then dot name is equal to Bob instead. So now, as we can see here, we are still referencing uh, the set, but because this is a shallow copy, we don't actually copy the values inside the prop uh, inside the um, the object, which means if I save this and refresh, we can see, of course, um, the object inside the set um, is the same as the one that's inside the array, which means, of course, the change gets applied right here, and we get Bob as the name. So uh, that right there is the array.from function in JavaScript. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.